What's going on guys and today I got something a little different for y'all. Instead of my usual kick-ass gameplays that I post, today's going to be a tutorial on how to get 10 plus kills in every game of Fortnite you play. Now don't get it twisted, if you get like 3 or 4 kills a game, I really hope you don't expect to get 10 the next game you hop on. But I do believe that if you apply these tips to your game and take them to heart, you will see some pretty quick improvement. If you're getting like 3 or 4, you should be able to see yourself getting 5, 6 or 7 pretty soon and then over time you could work your way to double digits. So, anyways, let's get into this gameplay. I tried to play really laid back and really mellow in this game, not do anything too sporadic and crazy, because I want the gameplay to be relatable. I want y'all to watch and realize that, okay, I don't have to be a god to do that kind of stuff. I can just, it's really simple. All he does is put himself in the right place at the right time, and I can do that myself. So, I hope y'all think that this gameplay is relatable. So, let's get into let. Oh my gosh, why do I stutter? Uh, it's 1.07 a.m., but that's no excuse to stutter. Let's get into the tips anyways. Okay, so the first tip is to be very aggressive at the beginning. And the reason for that is people are very vulnerable at the beginning of the match. They're just trying to get guns, trying to get situated, gather their loot. They're not ready to fight like maniacs at the beginning. So that's when you take advantage of it. I got a free kill by stealing someone's gun. I run to this house because I see someone's been in there. And he ends up running outside with me. And then I have a better close range gun, so I just melt him. He was trying to use the drum gun, which is not bad. It's actually pretty good. You'll see later. I use it. But, I, I, so I just got two free kills by attacking people at the beginning. We're just trying to gather guns, and we're probably not ready to fight. Hey, kitty. Okay, so, <clears throat> I hear someone in this house right here, and so I'm just going to go down there. As a general rule of thumb, you want to get three or four kills at the beginning of the match, at the, the place you land at. So, I already have... Two at Salty, so if I can get one or two more, I'm pretty set to get ten. I'm running down there now. I thought he was in that room, but just in case I check behind the stairs, and what do you know, he ends up being behind the stairs. I get robbed because I get two really low hit markers, but luckily his aim was really bad, okay. evident by his no-skin attire. So we're all good to go. I got my three kills at the beginning, so I'm looking pretty good. Anything else after that is just bonus. Where's my water? Oh, man. Okay, so right around here, I hear someone I hear someone outside, so I'm running out to look out the window. And what do you know? I see him looking at me right there. So let me just get my melt machine and just melt him. Man, that dude just got melted like a freaking candle in Texas on a hot summer day. That thing's not the drum gun. That thing's the melt machine because that's what it does. It just melts people bad. You'll see more of that later. So, whenever you're playing, trying to get 10 kills, you want to get most of your kills at the beginning and the end of the game. The beginning is easy because people are vulnerable trying to get their loot. They're not really ready to fight. At the end, everyone is tense, and they do everything very slowly and cautiously. And you kind of have to kill people at the end to win the game, obviously. Middle match is whenever you get caught in crossfires, and whenever people have really good loot, and there's a lot of people with good loot. You get caught in between people. Middle match is where I always find myself in the most trouble. So I always try to get as many kills outside of mid match. Most kills at the beginning and the end. Over here, very simple. I see someone by himself. And so I'm just going to go attack him. Throw down two port forts I could not get a clean shot earlier. And then let me just get my freaking vaporizer out. Boom! Someone called a nuclear power plant. Someone just got vaporized. Ay, Dios mío. Los perros. Okay, so I have five kills. There's 32 people left. I'm looking pretty good right now. I was talking about mid-match. What was I trying to say about the mid-match? Yeah, I mean, if you're getting four at the beginning and four at the end, that means you get eight kills beginning and end. You only need, like, two kills in the middle of the match. Here's my second mid-match kill. I hear people fighting in the storm, and so I already know they're going to be weak because, well, one, of, they're going to be weak because they're fighting in the storm, so... I'm going to run in there. I got plenty of bandages. I got impulses and bouncers to get out of the storm. So I'm perfectly set. Yeah. I see I'm trying to gather the guy's loot that he just killed. And this man's name is Free Kill 101 because that's what he was right there. Check that out. Just toast. Toasted. Boom. Really simple. And Okay, I remember what I was going to say. The really most important thing you got to remember is that you want all your fights to be one-on-one -on -one fights. You don't want to have to fight multiple people at one time. You want every all 10 of your kills to just be 10 open 
isolated one-on-one -on -one fights. Except for the two at the beginning, you can see that there is a good amount of space between all my kills down there at the bottom where you see the, the 10 kills that I have. You want everything to be spaced out. No, even for me, who's a very elite player, you don't. I try my best to make all my fights one on one. So those are obviously just the easiest ones to win. If I can get 15 or 16 isolated one on one fights, I'll take it any day over trying to kill three people at once. Over here, this is an example of why it's very important to be careful mid match. There's two people, and they both know that I'm there. If I had rushed either one of them, I would have been in a crossfire because whoever I didn't rush would be shooting at me along with the person I did rush. That right there is a free kill because I took some pop shots at him and realized he was really weak, so I just went for the kill, and he wasn't a good builder, so I got him. It's pretty, I just got lucky right there. I mean, hey, no one said luck was a bad thing to have in this. So I got seven kills. I'm just being very cautious, taking pop shots, looking very good right now. Eight people left. So this is where it considers the end of the match. That dude trying to beat me to the storm, so I had to bounce pad over. And then I just try to build and jump around sporadically so he can't hit me. Um, and then right here, in a moment, you will see the most important build in Fortnite. The double ramp rush with wall. If there's one build that you guys need to learn, it's that build right there. You get immediate high ground. I'm almost impossible to shoot down, unlike that guy right there. And he doesn't really know which side you're on. He can't really see. So that right there is a really important build that I just did that y'all got to learn. Over here is incredibly dangerous. I get caught in the center of a crossfire. Someone shooting at me with a rocket launcher. Another trying to destroy my building with a drum gun. If it wasn't for my talent and my ability to escape situations like that, I would have died so easily. So that exactly is what you want to avoid if you're going for a high kill game. You want to stay away from those at all possible. At this point, I have eight kills with five people left, and I hear people fighting in front of me, and I see it. So my thinking is, okay, I can just kill the winner, because he's already hurt most likely, and then after that, I'll have nine kills, so I only need one more. So, I, so after I kill the winner, I'll camp and just wait till there's one more guy, and then it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, may the better man win. So that ends up being exactly what happens. Build up to the high ground right here. Building on top of natural things like mountains or hills or houses is great. Because that's just a little tip. Anytime that you're about to fight someone, always try to build to a natural high ground. Okay, here it is. Right here is just a one-on-one. -on -one. I have nine kills. May the better man win. My double ramp rush comes in really good handy right here. Having good guns helps in these situations, obviously. But at the end of the day, it's just one man against the other. And the only way to get better is to put yourself in a lot of gunfights. Going to Lonely Lodge, getting three or four kills and winning ain't going to make you better. Ain't going to cut it. I played a lot of games at Tilted of me dying right away for me to become as good as I am right now. It took a lot of dying before I became this good. Just remember to be patient. Patience is key, man. Just to clarify, let me get a drink of water real fast. Uh, just for clarity, beginning match, I would say, I, I forgot if I said this already. I'm going to say it again just in case I didn't say it. I'm about to win right here, actually. Boom. Die, sucker. Let me do the eagle. Alright, so just to clarify, beginning match is where the place you land, so I landed at Salty, so you want to get three or four kills at Salty. Mid match is after you leave the place you land to about the, until you get to the final ten. And so in there you want to get as few as possible because that's the most dangerous time of the match. And then the end, oh yeah, I'm spectating this guy. This guy was really good. He had ten kills. Both of us had ten kills. I actually added him and I'm going to play with him tomorrow. Thought he domed me right there. That's cool. We both at ten kills. But anyways, okay. So at beginning, I already, middle, I already said that. So the end is just the final ten. So the beginning and the end are where you want to get most of your kills at. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope y'all found this gameplay pretty re pretty relatable, and I hope y'all realize that y'all can do this yourselves with just a little bit of practice and just being smart, and putting yourself in the right positions. And um, thank y'all for watching. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.